All right, we're gonna go ahead and get set up here in order to do some of the exercises together for this course. So let's go ahead and get started here, okay? Now, if you look at the instructions uh, on the page here, you'll see that there are some setup steps for the Wii Deploy. Now, if you'd like, you can use the Wii Deploy setup, so feel free to follow those steps if you'd like, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the alternative setup options here in order to uh, set up a local installation of Liferay. Okay, once everything's said and done, we're gonna pretty much have the same experience, so go ahead and choose what works best for you, okay? All right, so what I have here in my downloads folder, if I go ahead and open this up, let me go ahead and drag this on here, is I see that I have all of the downloaded files from the page here. Okay, so we have a DXP GA1 bundle, we have our exercises, and we have our activation key. Okay, so this is what we're gonna need to go ahead and get started. All right, so it's going to be a little bit different if you are on uh, Windows. So I'll go ahead and talk you through some of those things there. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up a new tab here on Mac. And I'm going to start by going to my home folder. Okay, so if you guys are uh, on Windows, just go ahead and go to your C drive. Okay, and we have a uh, life ray folder that we can create. So I've already actually created one here. But if you don't already have a life ray folder, go ahead and create a new folder in either your C drive or your home folder called Liferay. All right, open that up. And in here we have a bundles folder. Again, if you don't already have one of these, go ahead and create the bundles folder for this course, okay? Inside this bundles folder is where we are gonna go ahead and add our Liferay GA1 bundle. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my downloads here and I'm gonna go ahead and find my DXP GA1 zip. Go ahead and copy that, come over to bundles, paste that on in here. And for simplicity, I'm just gonna go ahead and double click to unzip this. Okay, now a quick note here, uh, if you are on Mac, uh, you can go ahead and just basically do what I just did. If you are on Windows, make sure you do not use the default Windows unzipper, okay? That's going to cause a lot of issues with Liferay. Um, and we, we definitely don't want that to happen. There's some path length issues there. So go ahead and um, use something like 7-Zip or WinZip or some other third-party unzipping tool to go ahead and open this up. All right, so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my DXP folder here. All right, and just to streamline some of this, I'm gonna go ahead and just create a deploy folder. Now, if you start up Liferay for the first time, it's going to automatically create the deploy folder for us. But if we create it and place the activation key in here now, then we'll go ahead and streamline that process. Okay, so I'm just gonna create a new folder, name it deploy. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to my downloads, find that activation key, copy the activation key, and then come back to deploy and just simply paste it on in here. Okay. Now what will happen here is Liferay will start up and it will accept our activation key. All right, so we'll go ahead and just add some other things into the deploy folder uh, coming up here soon. All right. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and grab these exercises and copy them. I'm gonna actually bring them over to the Liferay folder, okay? I'm gonna unzip it there just for simplicity of access, make sure everything is centralized in my Liferay folder. Uh, you can technically unzip this wherever you'd like, so do whatever feels right for you. Come on over to Liferay, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that on in here, and unzip it here as well. Same rules apply when it comes to uh, unzipping this for Windows, okay? Make sure you have something like 7-zip or WinZip. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up these exercises and you'll see we have our different chapters here. So these are gonna be the different chapters uh, for the videos as well. And we have a couple of options here in the 01 life range users. That's gonna be this first chapter here. So let's start by grabbing this Fjord theme. Okay, this is one of the marketplace themes that our engineers have created. Go ahead and copy this. And we're gonna place it into our uh, Liferay DXP bundle deploy folder, just like we did with the activation key. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and just open a new tab. I'm gonna navigate to my user home, Liferay, 
bundles. And then we have our DXP GA1 and deploy folder. Paste it on in here. Okay. Again, for you guys on Windows, it's going to be a similar path. Uh, it's just going to be expected to be somewhere like C Liferay instead of user home. So whenever I refer to the user home throughout this course or any of the courses for that matter, and you're on Windows, uh, just make sure you are in that C drive and the Liferay folder. All right, let's go ahead and get this started up here. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit different for each of us as well. For those of you on Windows, go ahead and come to the what, what I'm calling the Liferay Home folder. That's gonna be the DXP71 GA1 folder. Open up Tomcat, bin, and then go ahead and double click the startup.bat file. If you have Java properly installed, uh, then it should just go ahead and start up Liferay from here. For those of us on Mac, let's go ahead and open up our terminal. If you don't have this readily available, you should be able to find this in your utilities folder uh, in applications. So go ahead and find it there. For our purposes, we need to go ahead and navigate to bin. Okay, so an easy way to do that is to type CD and just drag the bin folder into the console here or the terminal. Okay, and we're going to run dot slash Catalina dot sh run and run that there. Okay, this is going to take a few minutes to get started up. So we'll go ahead and let that run and we'll come back when we're good to go. Okay, so what you should see at the end of this process is that the server has started up here. Soon after this, you should see a browser pop up with basic configuration. Okay, so I'll go ahead and make this the whole page. All right, and now what we have here is the basic configuration here. So this is the setup. Uh, we should be on the same page if you are doing the we deploy setup here. Okay, so for the basic configuration, let's go ahead and change the names of some of these to fit the use case we're working with, which is going to be the Livingston Hotels and Resorts. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and rename this to Livingston Hotels and Resorts. All right, if there's one thing that you must do uh, while you are setting this up is make sure you have the add sample data unchecked. Okay, so for the first name, we're going to go ahead and change this to Livingston. And for the last name, we'll change this to admin. This will just give us sort of a generic Livingston admin to work with here. And for now, go ahead and just leave test at liferay.com for simplicity. All right, we're not going to do anything with the database here. We're just going to use the default hypersonic database and click finish configuration. All right, this is a placeholder for the terms of use. Okay, so that's something that admins can go ahead and generate based on whatever terms of use are necessary for your own platform. So go ahead and click on agree. All right, and let's change the password. We're going to go ahead and just stick with test again for simplicity and then we have the password reminder query okay there are a number of options here that we can work with so feel free to uh, use a different query here uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with the default what's your father's middle name and to keep things simple again I'm gonna go ahead and do test and click save all right and once we have that set up we are now in the system here Okay, so we have our uh, basic menus set up here. All right, we have the add menu. I can go ahead and open this up. And the add menu is going to include all of the administrative panels that we can work with. There's going to be at the top a control panel. There will be a user panel where we have our user information. And we have our site administration panel. The control panel is going to be uh, primarily for platform-wide administrative tasks. And the site administration panel will be specifically for any site that we are working on. And we'll talk about some of those concepts as we continue on throughout the course. And on the right side, we have our configure page where we can configure the specific page of the site that we're on. There's the add menu and the simulation menu. The add menu has a number of widgets that we can use on our sites. And the simulation allows us to simulate what the site will look like from different mobile device screen sizes. All right, so we're gonna do a couple of more things here and then we will be good to go 
for the rest of the course. So let's go ahead and start by removing this Hello World widget. Click on Options, Remove, and click OK. Okay, this will clear up our page here. And lastly, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add our Fjord theme as well as set up a new logo for Livingston. Now, if you guys have come in using the We Deploy setup, uh, there is a simple way from the actual uh, GUI here to deploy our Fjord war file because you may not have access to that deploy folder that I used earlier. So that's going to be in Control Panel, Apps, and App Manager. Okay, and once it loads, we can go ahead and click on Options and Upload. That'll be at the top right. And here you can just click Choose File, navigate to your exercises, and grab that Fjord theme from the 01 Life Rate and Users folder and click Install. For those who have followed along with me with the local installation, we should be good to go with the Fjord theme. All right, so let's go ahead and change it for our main site. Open up the Site Administration panel here. Okay, it's going to be the bottom panel here in the menu. Click on Build and Pages. All right, we're going to click on the little configuration cog here next to Public Pages. Okay, give that a second to load. All right, and in this menu here, we can go ahead and come down. And you'll see an option that says Change Current Theme. So go ahead and click on the Change Current Theme button. You should see the Fjord theme here. So go ahead and click on the Fjord theme. And lastly, before we click Save, open up the Logo section. Okay, go ahead and click on Change. And Select. Go ahead and navigate to your Exercises folder. So again, I have this unzipped in my LifeRay folder. So that's User Home LifeRay for me. That may be C LifeRay for you. Okay, and then in the 01 LifeRay and Users folder, I can find that LivingstonLogo.png. All right, so select that. Click Open. Click Done. And finally, go ahead and click Save. And if we want to see our new setup, we can click on Go to Site in the Site Administration panel here. All right, and we should be good to go. So we'll see you in the next video for the next section of this chapter.